Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. Me and my husband Kelly are road tripping. We're not flying this time. We're actually going to be driving to Florida. Wish us luck. <laughs> We're currently in Lancaster County. We're, our first stop is going to be in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. For those of you that have never been to Lancaster, it's gorgeous. It's where the Amish people are. That you know, it's a very simpler way of living. It's it's really cool to see. It's pretty close to Hershey Park. It's a lot of farms. Beautiful, beautiful area. We live in Connecticut and we do everything we can not to drive on 95 <laughs> and go for, even if it's a little longer, a more pleasant route. And that's what brings us this way. For those of you that are new to my channel, I am a huge researcher and I travel all the time. And I try to make videos of videos that I search for when I'm looking for travel things on YouTube. So if you think that sounds cool, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> all right. First hotel we're staying at is Cameron Estate Inn. This place is beautiful. They have weddings here. It's a bed and breakfast slash inn. It's not like you're like staying in someone's house, but it's more of an inn. But they serve breakfast, <laughs> free breakfast in the morning. Um, and the rooms are gorgeous. You're going to see that in a little bit. Check-in was a breeze. It was super easy. You walked in. There was a woman that was sitting right there. Her name was there. She gave us a key. That was it. It was so super, super easy. I had found the place on TripAdvisor, but then I went to the website of the place directly and I booked because it showed pictures of all the different rooms and what the rooms had. So I was looking for something that had really nice, like comfy chairs to sit in. I also chose this room because of the king size bed and it also had a fireplace. When we came in, every, all the lights were on, the fireplace was lit. It was just so nice. There were a few other people staying in different rooms. I think it was three floors, this place, and I didn't hear there was people above us and there was people below us, um, but we didn't really run into them at all. I chose this hotel above others just because I just like the experience of staying in a, a place that's so historic. I also, you know, the price was great. I mean, I think it was $129. I mean, it was really nice and it came with breakfast. Look at this place, it's beautiful. You know, comparable in the area, you know, you could have gotten a Marriott and I believe me, I love Marriott's, but you know, this is just, you know, something that you're gonna remember forever. And it was Christmas time and it was all decorated for Christmas, which you'll be seeing in a little bit. But right now I'm gonna give you a tour. We're gonna go to room number 12, it's called the green drawing room. It had a king size bed as well. This one was on the first floor. I was considering this one as well, but I was more interested in the second floor. There is a restaurant on the property, but it wasn't open the night that we were here. But they had this little area here that had coffee all day, which was nice. It also had a refrigerator and a microwave. So if you went out to dinner and you had leftovers, you keep them cool and reheat them for later. But right now we're going to go to dinner. So we're going to go to Boubet's Brewery. This place was super historic. It was cool. The whole town of Mount Joy was very Christmas festive. All the houses had lights and this place here was decorated to the hill. It was just, it's a really nice place to go. We didn't have reservations, but we were seated right away. It w there really wasn't a lot of people there, but we got there right for opening, so that was really cool. We got seated in the bar area right by this little wood burning stove. It was really cozy, I loved it. The menu is, you know, <laughs> brewery fare, <laughs> good pub food, you know, <laughs> chicken wings, burgers, you know, but they had some entrees and things like that and a large selection of beers. We were pretty hungry from traveling all day. It was probably like a six hour drive. I ended up going with the chicken sandwich. It was like a, a crispy chicken sandwich. My husband got a burger with like blue cheese on it. As you can see, there's a very full menu. So it could probably pretty much please anybody. There's a ton of beers obviously on the menu. I ended up getting a stout. Has been got an IPA, that's his favorites. 
we would know, you know, we got a full day ahead of us tomorrow, so we don't want to drink too much or anything tip was too strong. So a beer seemed appropriate at a brewery. Have you been to Mount Joy before? Or do you live there? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Such a chill little town. I was so glad we went the longer way so we could discover a new town we'd never been to. And here's our dinners now. We were so excited. We were so hungry. <laughs> Oh yes, and the sweet potato fries. They were so good. They were really yummy. And my husband ended up getting coleslaw instead of fries, which coleslaw was really good. We really loved that. That was awesome. Our visit was very pleasant. The place is so unique. If you're ever in Mount Joy, I would um, definitely go check it out. It's, it's a pretty cool place. Okay, now we're back to the Christmas home <laughs> at Cameron Estates. This place, like I said, it, it's just really, really stunning. So nice and peaceful walking around over here if you like historic homes and you're enjoying this video I'm gonna actually make a playlist I haven't done it yet I'm gonna do that today of all the historic houses and bed and breakfasts that I stayed in I'm even gonna throw in an air, some of the Airbnb stays that I've been to on that too this is a McKinley room this is downstairs as well beautiful beautiful room Breakfast was really nice. Uh, some bed and breakfast, like you sit down at a long table with a lot of different people that are staying there. This was like you had your own little table. They had chafing dishes set up. I thought it was going to be a buffet, but it turned out to be a, like a sit down where they came and they just brought the food to you. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic, maybe. Um, but that was really nice. You know, it was like steak and eggs and it was a very hearty meal. It was great because we're going to be heading out in the road again. So it was good to get a good meal. I'm going to just take you around to the grounds over here for anybody that's stumbling on this because maybe you want to get married there and you want to see what the the yard is like this over here too um this is um hotel rooms but they're not part of the house they're like in back of the house but that's lovely too you know because you have a, a view of the backyard over here which is really nice certainly a great choice especially if you're having a wedding there and you want easy access in and out without having to go up and down all the stairs of the main house over here was like a sunroom. It was really pretty. I took a peek in, but it was locked. I couldn't get inside to take photos. I would assume it's probably for weddings or bridal showers, birthday parties. It may be like a special occasion room. Definitely seems like a fantastic place to get married. I'm sure, especially in the spring, the summer with all the flowers, it must be absolutely beautiful there. You're gonna be finding the restaurant in this area too. The restaurant itself on the property is not in the main house, it's on the side. So that's also good to know. Like if you're not staying there, you could go dine there and still see the grandeur of this place. It's just really, really pretty. And for the price of staying in a regular hotel room, I mean, it, it's great, it's awesome. I would definitely stay there again and highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful or fun or entertaining, please like it and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. It would help my channel's algorithm. Thank you so much. Safe travels to you.